Hey everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. So I'm going to try a new mold. I've had this mold for a while now. It's been in my to-do list. I have like a to-do closet and there's a large shelf on it of everything I have not done. And this has been sitting there for a while. So I think it's time to do it. This is actually, I think, made for like candles. If you make candles, you would put wax in here and make a candle because this mold is not shiny. So I am going to have to doctor this one. So I'm not gonna complicate this video. I'm gonna stick to probably, probably just one thing. If I have extras, I have extras, but I'm not going to on purpose do two projects today because I think I'm going to have to like fix this up after it comes out. So what this is, it's an ice cream cone. This is the cone. This is the, actually when I unmold it, this is gonna be the top and this will be the bottom. It's a really, really, really soft silicone. So this is uh, for 3D molds. So this is the cone. And then, I don't know, I don't remember if it came with both of these. I think I bought them separately. These are the scoops of ice cream. And again, really soft silicone and it's textured inside. You probably, well, maybe you could see that. So the, the ice cream is gonna have texture on it, but when we unmold this, it won't be shiny and I like my stuff shiny. So we will probably have to fix it make it shiny, embellish it a little bit, maybe add some sprinkles, and I don't know, my mind is reeling right now about what I can do with it, but I wanna wait until I see what it looks like after it's unmolded. So, two of these three colors I have not used in that set of 60 from Let's Resin. So we're gonna try the gold and the Indian red, and the gold is going to be my golden, I tried to look for like a golden color for the, the ice cream cone, because that's really what they are. They're usually not that dark, but I haven't used this one yet. And then a strawberry ice cream and a vanilla ice cream on top. So we have used the white before, but I have not used these two. So I did measure them. This one holds, I think five or five and a half ounces, one of the two, I think five. Each one of these holds one and a half. I, I could be off a little bit, not much. I know that the eight ounces that I measured, filled both of them with no problem, and I think I had a little bit left over. So we may have some extras today. So I'm going to use, I'm gonna use my casting resin today, my pump resin, because it's late at night, I'm not in any hurry to get this cured, and I don't need to put it through the vacuum chamber today because mica powders don't really need that. I mean, you can, I've done it before, and it does take bubbles out. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. Now this one is deep. This one is more than an inch deep, which is another reason I'm using my casting resin because that can be poured. This is three inches deep. This is gonna get a test. Um, I hope it doesn't flash cure. I haven't had it flash cure in the past that deep. You can do it with deep pour resin if you want to, just to be safe. But um, I know this casting resin, I've poured it way deeper than that and I never had a problem. So I'm gonna try it today. So I'm gonna mix up eight ounces and then we will get mixing up. So because I use that mixer that makes virtually no bubbles, I love that thing. I'm not even gonna bother running it through the uh, debubbler, the vacuum chamber. So I've already um, separated it. So there's five, one and a half, and one and a half. So let's do the gold first. Let's just pour that one and see if I remembered the, uh, the right numbers of resin for these. I thought it was five, but I could be wrong. I know I had leftover in this cup, but that doesn't give me leftovers if I split it that way, so I could be wrong. I will let you know. You know I will always let you know. So this is a very pearly. 
So we're going to have to bring out this shine after we unmold it. And make sure you mix your powders really well or they will be seen. I do it all the time. You would think I would listen to my own advice. I think I mix them really good and then I don't, I don't know. I am gonna spray the mold with alcohol. I absolutely love that trick. It really does a good job of not getting bubbles in your stuff. Let me move these powders before I spill them. All right. There's a lot of like texture because you know what a what an ice cream cone looks like. So there's a lot of that texture. Look at there's powder on the top. See that? I guess if you just let it sit here for a minute, you're going to see if the powder comes up. See, there's a spot right there. I'm just going to pull it out. All right. So that alcohol should alleviate any bubbles that form usually forms on like the 90 degree angles. I am going to fill it completely up. Yeah, see there is a little left. So I was wrong. What was it? Four and a half? I've got two left. Oh gosh, it took three. I was way off. So this took three, not five. And there's just a little bit too much in there. I don't want to have to trim too much. So two ounce, two ounces, you know what that means. I can either make another elk or another hippo. Maybe I'll make another hippo since I have not made my hippo with mica powder yet. We'll worry about that in a minute. So let's do strawberry. And a nice little chunk in there. Well, it's not called strawberry, it's called Indian red. I hope I measured these correct. I know, I, I think I did these correct. I don't know why I was thinking five, it's actually three, that's way off. I really need to start writing this stuff down. I know I say that a lot and then I don't do it. That's a pretty shimmery pink. I call it red, but I don't think it's red. Is that good enough? I'm gonna put a little bit more in there. Just in case, I don't want it see-through in parts. Oops. So I guess if you are using mica powders, you could set your cup down for a few minutes and see if anything floats to the surface. See, it's floating, the little bits that I didn't get in, although the ice cream chunks are gonna cover that, so I'm not completely alarmed. And the same with these, if it floats, but sometimes it sinks, you just don't know. So actually, this one has a little bit too much. I'm just gonna take a little bit more out. There we go. Spray it with some alcohol, pop any bubbles, although they are popping from the alcohol I dripped in there or sprayed in there. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. So we're gonna spray it real good because of all those little nooks and crannies it's gotta get in. And this one. It's just about perfect. I could have had another drip, I guess, but you'll never know. So we have no leftover pink. I'll have to check. I think I got these off Timu. I don't know. I will check. I'm not sure if it came with the two ice cream scoops, but I ha I believe I had to buy a second one because I didn't want to wait 
while one was curing to do the second one. So I'm pretty sure I just bought two at one time. Move that over there. Let's get the white going. I mean, make sure, yeah, this is the white. There's a bunch of interference whites that come with this set. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't grab one of those by accident. And this one is very pearly too, but like I said, we're going to have to doctor it up to see that. I'm wondering, I have that hand painter's resin over there. Maybe I'll try to use it for something, maybe like a chocolate drizzle or something over the top of it. I don't know, we'll see what happens when we demold this. I don't wanna get ahead of myself. If you saw my video the other day with that cheap resin, oh, what a disaster that was. So I had a lot of fixing to do, so I don't wanna get ahead of myself. This is not cheap resin, this is the good stuff. But you just don't know, like when me and Don did those deer, we ran to the store, we got all the stuff we needed for the hardware, and we come home with the hardware, we unmold it, and they're like, oh my gosh, nope, not wasting the hardware on these. So yeah, I'm not gonna get a I'm not gonna get ahead of myself on this. Okay. Spray it good with alcohol and pour. That one's really pretty. That one's a perfect amount. There's just a tiny bit left at the bottom. I might be able to make a pendant with that. I'm pretty sure I can. So, should we make a little hippo? This is the mold that I made for the hippo. See how shiny that is in there? He's so adorable. And here is an example of him. This one, he was like, I don't know. I can't remember which alcohol ink I chose, but that's him. So I know he took two ounces and I have two ounces left. So I say we try a mica powder hippo. I am going to spray alcohol down in that one as well. He's got those little ears that I don't want to have bubbles in. I'm just going to squish it down in his ears real quick. And this one, I don't want to... I don't want to dome this one because it gave him a double chin. I did trim it off, but I don't want to do that again. So I still have some extra. How about we pour it in my little faceted flower? You guys are always getting extras. Yeah, I say let's pour it in here. I thought this one takes about a half ounce. Let's see, and I'll probably still have extras. Nope, this one is perfect. It's all I needed for that. Completely perfect. I don't need nothing else. I have a little bit left of the white. So let me find a pendant mold. I'll get that poured and I will see you tomorrow. It is time to unmold. It's been like 18 hours and everything's done. I did get one little pendant left from the white mica powder and I put this little sparkly flowery thingy on there. So there's that one. And then this was extra. So we'll do our little flower. always have little little molds laying around because most people end up with extra resin oh that came out really good I guess it doesn't matter what you pour in that thing it's gonna sparkle so I will put a magnet and give this away to somebody in their order and then this was the extra this was my hippo this is a really soft silicone so he's pretty easy to pop out 
Let me grab him. There he comes. Put him there. Oh, that came out good. I'm going to make a little face on him. Trim him up a little bit. There's his tail. Super shiny. So I will finish him. Okay, let's start with the easy ones. Little ice cream scoops. Yeah, as I expected. Actually, that's really not too bad for ice cream. I don't know that I need it shiny. Hmm, I have to think about that. We'll see what this one looks like. That looks like sherbet, <laughs> sorbet. So they're gonna kinda go like something like this. So I'm gonna have to trim them. I'm not sure how to do it, one on top of the other. I don't know yet. So yeah, I gotta figure out if I wanna shine those up or not. Maybe I don't. This one should be pretty easy. Yep, it's gonna pop right out. This is really super soft silicone. Oh, that looks really good. I don't know that I need to shine this up. How does this fit? So I probably shouldn't have poured that extra lip around there because this fits on the inside of that. Um, let me figure out what I'm gonna do, but look. It says Deluxe Cone, special, I don't know what that says. Special ice cream. So what do you think? Do I need to shine it up? I don't know. I don't think that I do. I don't think it would look proper if it was shiny. Okay, give me a minute. Let me think about this and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, are you ready to finish this up? So this is the little hippo I finished. I gave him some sparkly little ears with the rhinestones, his eyes, his nose, his mouth. So he's all done. I'm getting too many little mascots over here. I'm gonna have to like send them to the farm for a while. All right, so what I'm thinking, because I don't, well, I trimmed off that edge. So now it no longer sticks over because this fits on perfectly without it. And because I'm not sure I like it stacked like that. It looks fake. So I think I'm only going to do one. I'll save this for another one some other time. What I'm thinking is I've got some sprinkles out here. These are fake sprinkles. I have brown mica powder. They didn't have brown in that 60 kit, so I have to use my own. And then I pulled out the hand-painted epoxy resin. This is the stuff I used one other time for a birthday cake. And this is, like it's a two to one by weight. So I measured out 24 grams. It was 16 grams of A and eight grams of B, and it gave me about one fluid ounce. But this is like thick like a glue. So I'm going to cover this, which will adhere my ice cream to it. And I'm going to use my piping bag to drip down chocolate drips. That's my idea. Maybe drizzle a little bit on top of here and put some sprinkles on top. That's what I'm thinking. So let me see how this colors with the brown, the uh, mica powder. I didn't want a uh, alcohol ink because I didn't want to see through it because chocolate is not see-through. Oh, that, oh, look at what I did. <sighs> I'm gonna have to clean that off. Yes, I know I shouldn't be doing this over my stuff. <laughs> I do it so you guys can see it, but I'm never thinking about the stuff underneath. Okay, so that mixed up really good and it's nice and like, what do they call that? Um, Stiff peaks, that's what I'm trying to think of, as if you're doing a meringue. So let me just clean off my station here and get this put in my piping bag. Hang on a minute. And see if I can do some um, 
drips. I gotta go wash this off or I'm gonna have to sprinkle over it. Hang on a minute. All right, I think we're all set. I haven't seen many people doing hand painters resin on YouTube. So I don't know, I'm just, I would love more ideas. So I'm just kind of winging it. I've got it in the piping bag here. I cut a really tiny hole. So I'm just going to, if this works going down the sides, then I will go ahead and, oh yeah, it's gonna stay, it looks. You could shake it and it doesn't move much. It's kind of like doing a drip cake. I didn't know it was gonna work this good. I've done thousands of drip cakes. Look at how cute that is. Oh, I like this. So you can just like pipe a lot if you want it to go farther. I hope I'm in camera. I can't look at the camera and this at the same time. So just squeeze a whole bunch, just like chocolate. If you guys ever use chocolate ganache, same thing. You just pipe more in the places you want it to drip down farther. Oh, I like this stuff. This is so cool. And since that worked, I'm going to pipe it on top to adhere my ice cream. I don't need a whole bunch. So I'm just gonna kinda like, look at that, that's so cool. Nice, I'm like just staring at it as if, I don't know. Okay, so that squished it, <gasps> whoa! Don't turn it, don't turn it to look at it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a little dotting tool because it did squish some out. So I'm just gonna kind of coax it down my drip marks so it doesn't look like it's squished out. Oh, I really like this stuff, it's so cool. Now I need to figure out more things I can make, okay. And because I have it mixed up now, I'm going to, I want to just drizzle it. Like that. And kind of put some sprinkles on if they'll stick. I'll shake them off later what doesn't stick. What I should have done is put some on the side I should have done that before. Um, I'm gonna have to place them in the chocolate. You know like when you get a, a waffle bowl and they have sprinkles on the sides? I'm gonna have to place my sprinkles with tweezers because I didn't do it before I put the ice cream in. So yeah. I will um, not make you watch this because this is going to take me a while. So I'll come back as soon as it's done. Ready to see everything, guys? So I did some stuff off camera. As you saw, you saw the hippo already done. Now, I took the hand painter's resin, what was left of the chocolate, and I tried to put it in a pendant mold to see what would happen. And it was like, you can't flatten it. It didn't, like liquid does it doesn't find its level so what i did was i made like i don't know if you could see but it's textured on top and then i just flicked some gold uh dust sparkle dust on top of them so these are kind of cool and i also made a pair of earrings so these are textured and they cured just fine no problem and then here is the flower super sparkly and this came from i mixed up this color wheat 
because I did not want to waste my strawberry ice cream. So I made another ice cream cone and I finished it up so we could do the reveal. So all the extras from the second ice cream cone, this was one of the extras. And I also made another rose because I have plans for these roses. And I also poured these two pendants. Well, these are supposed to be pendants, but I'm gonna make them into bookmarks. So this one has the opening in it as you can see, and this one doesn't. So I took a teal marker and I just outlined the cross and then I added a tassel on them. So these will go out to everybody. So let's see the first one we made. This is completely dry. It is solid as a rock. Nothing's fallen off except a few <laughs> sprinkles that weren't resined on. But what do you guys think? I think these are adorable. I absolutely love this mold. Um, I hate to part with it, but these are available on my eBay store if you want the demos, unless they're already gone. A lot of times these things are gone before I even get the video out. Okay, the second one, like I said, I mixed up a different color because I wanted to see. This is the wheat, and I think this color is so much more realistic, although the gold is good too, but this is so much more realistic, and then I... Put the sprinkles on the sides of this one by hand before I put this on top. But I did the same thing. So we have a pair of ice cream cones. I love them. I just adore them. I think they are so cute. I love the hand painter's resin. You could put drips on tumblers with these. You can put, you could basically pipe what you want. I mean, it's not like thick enough to where you can get, um, like cake decorating thick, but you could definitely pipe drips on things, things like that. It will hold its shape pretty well. Like I said, I tried to get these pendants flat. It wasn't working, so I just helped the texture out a little bit more and just to see what a textured pendant would look like. So that's what that is. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I love these. I will get you some good close-up pictures, remember? If you become a channel member, not only do you support me doing this every day, but you get to see this stuff prior to the videos coming out. So you see all the pictures. You will. That's probably why these things are getting sold prior to videos come out. Because a lot of um, channel subscribers know what's coming on and they get into my eBay store and they snatch them up before the video. So if you don't want to miss out, please join us and help support this channel. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. I hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.